Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Shining Force CD. We're in the home stretch here on book one, I think. We've um, got uh, this little battle here ahead of us. Uh, interestingly enough though, uh, I didn't realize this in the last episode. This is actually a two-part battle in the sense that uh, if you egress out now, you have to redo that entire first part all over again. Which I may have wanted to do anyway, but uh, I had a little bit of a scare because I thought I forgot to save last time, but uh, I did not. So uh, that's good. Uh, a few people have a little bit more XP than they uh, otherwise would, but I just replayed the battle and uh, did slightly better so everybody's still alive. Um, it looks like we do get all of our magic points back though, which is nice. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got here. Not a whole lot in terms of specific enemies here. Um, do you have an evil bishop hanging out in the back? We've got Scorpo Waldol here, who probably still has demon breath if I had to guess, so we want to treat him with some respect, but no more magic uh, for now. We have a sentinel. Pretty big defense, but uh, it doesn't seem to be too scary. Yeah, and we got uh, these Tauros guys here. So we'll probably want to take these guys out, but they uh, are probably not going to be a huge problem for us at this point in the game. Unless they get to our back line, but we do need to get uh, Lug sorted out so we can get the Sword of Hazia, because if he dies, then we're, we're screwed, so. <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh, let's not worry about, let's not have that happen. Let's, what's your movement speed? Only four. These guys, Those guys are exceptionally slow. Uh, so I think we're good there. I just want to double check up here. Movement five. He's pretty slow and you're slow. Okay. All right. So we got a little bit of time to set up here by the looks of things. I'm going to stick you. Yeah, I'm gonna stick you right about there. And then we'll come over here. If I give you that, we'll have room for the sword. And actually, I probably maybe want to give Claude the critical sword. That might be a good idea. We'll see if we can make that happen. Um, we're going to put you over on this flank. Just have you move up like so. It's kind of becoming a mess already, but uh, <laughs> it's all right. Um, we'll just uh, get people moved around. Uh, yeah, why don't... You don't have magic. I know. Uh, if I give you... Oh, no, that's not going to work. Uh, we'll get there. Um, I'm just going to take... A turn or two to uh, get it figured out. Hopefully we'll have time to switch that around. And uh, yeah, we do have direct control of Lug here, which is excellent. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll give... Actually, I should have brought in the Atlas Axe or something like that to give him. But it's a little bit too late for that, unfortunately. Um, so we'll, just, we'll give that to you. We'll, we'll try to keep Lug alive here as best we can. I, uh, I don't know if that will be guaranteed to happen exactly, but, uh, because he does have fairly low HP. So we need to be careful of that, that bishop, because if he casts boost on Waldo, he's gonna get, like, insane turn times and probably shred us, <laughs> if I had to guess, so we want to be careful of that. Um, we can bring you over here. We can, we can easily kill. Actually, do we have, uh, we try a diesel. That might be cute, but, uh, Let's just try try this on for size. They don't have very many hit points. Six damage, 10 XP. It's fine. Um, also, somebody did ask me a while back if the levels in this game are randomized, like the stat increases you get. And uh, I did a little test, and I can say functionally, yes, that they, they appear to be randomized. So some levels you might get one attack and two defense. Some levels you might get two attack and one defense, etc. Um, all right, first things first. Uh, we are going to uh, equip the Sword of Hagia and the White Ring. Then we're going to give the Critical Sword to you. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to tackle that flank just yet. We're gonna we're gonna take out uh, these guys sort of piecemeal here. Let's go ahead and equip. Yeah, we'll equip you with the Critical Sword, that looks pretty good. And the Power Ring, you actually have more attack than uh, Nick does now. <laughs> so that's pretty good. I'm not gonna fuss with uh, 
switching the power ring around or anything like that. Because uh, in the off chance that he does import with that um, into uh, a later save, um, you know, it'd be good to have him. Or have it, rather. Because uh, I don't know exactly how these characters are all going to import. Um, so we'll just, we'll see. Uh, or if everybody imports. I think everybody does eventually. But uh, I'm not 100% sure about, as I said, you know, how it all works. It's going to be a learning, learning experience much later on. Because uh, we still have all of book two to get through before we even get to books three or four, where I think like we get to combine a lot of people. So, uh, let's see. You can you cast boost? You do not. No boost. All right. Just a time. And uh, I guess we may as well give you a shot. Yeah, I mean, sure. Fifteen damage. Why not? Just send you over to help him out. Finish this guy off real fast. And a nice level uh, for the road here. As we uh, are uh, starting to finish things up. Alright, so let's start moving people up. Just like so. Definitely want Apis to be toward the front. So these guys are getting into, like, a lovely AoE formation. I wish uh, enemies would be uh, a little bit more uh, apt to do that, honestly. Um, sort of how you doesn't seem to have any on use effect. So we'll just have you sit tight over there. I am wondering if these uh, enemies are going to start respawning, however. We can at least send you up, maybe test the water a little bit here. Yeah, you can almost one-shot these guys. And they're worth a ton of experience, too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna block these guys off, I think. We can actually just kill this guy. Very nice, level 16. I believe the max level is 20, before and after promotion. Uh, but I could be mistaken about that, I guess. We will uh, not find out here in this playthrough, for sure. But uh, I imagine there's probably a, a document somewhere on the internet that uh, will uh, will tell you one way or the other. Um, let's uh, just put you there, I guess. And we'll put you over here. We'll put you on this side as well, I think. And you can bring up the rear like so. All right, let's see what these guys look like on the attack. One damage. That's what I like to see. <laughs> and unfortunately, they're not in that friendly AoE formation anymore. What can you do? Ooh, they do get a double attack here, though. And then we get a counter attack, which is nice. Level 17. Oh, and he does get a heal four right at the end here. It's not too bad. Um, you're gonna be just out of range. But you can move up. So let's see what this sort of has you looks like. Ooh. Shiny. Almost one-shotted that guy. You, on the other hand, are actually just in range, so we may as well burn this guy up. I'm still thinking there may be another battle after this. We'll see. I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna go in that hole in the wall. But, uh, it's hard to say. All right, you may as well finish this guy off, just like so. Interesting, do you have 77 attack as well? Or are these guys just immune to being one-shotted? All right, 75. 77. They might actually be immune to being one-shotted. That's what I'm starting to think here. Um, this is a bit of a risky play here. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna attack the bishop just yet. I'm gonna attack this guy instead. And, um, we're gonna move you... ...to here. So that doesn't do anything. Thought I would maybe give it a try. Actually, I'm gonna put you here. I just wanna... ...block it off so they can't kill Wendy. 
too terribly easily. And then you can actually go here and give me big freeze to finish off this one guy. This guy seems to take basically maybe not quite full damage from magic. Pretty close, I think. And there we go, another level for Domingo. Um, now you do actually have boost. Why don't we use a boost? I think that sounds like a decent idea. Um, where do I want to put it? I kind of want to get Quad in there. And I guess she doesn't really need to be boosted, so... Oh, but the, uh, the range is very small. Um, so I guess we don't, we don't really have much choice. We'll, we'll have to do it this way. Or, uh, not do it at all, I guess, if we want to get Nick in there, which we do. Because we don't know what Waldall has up his sleeve, so having that extra defense and speed is going to be useful. And level 14 for you, not bad. Alright. I don't think it's worth moving him up. I'm going to leave him behind just a little bit here. I'm going to send him over on the flank, like so. You're going to definitely stay back here. Uh, until we figure out what we're doing exactly. Ooh, heavy hit. Alright, so that does hurt quite a bit. Um, luckily, however, we can swing right over here and just... Heal that damage up. Keep him topped off. And in relative safety. Alright, um, you're just gonna sit back here for a minute. Yeah, here comes a big demon breath, I bet. Yep. <laughs> I was afraid he might have an upgraded version of that. Yeesh, that really hurts. That really, really, really hurts. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't get another attack. Oh no, he's gonna get another one. Oh no, he cast Aura, okay. Woo! <laughs> oh boy, that boost would have been absolutely lethal. This is a good time to use a healing uh, rain, I think, if we can get somebody who's got one. We cannot. Not yet. Uh, this is, this is a big risky uh, type of play, but I'm gonna go for it. No damage from Blaze, how rude. That's not expected. Maybe Nick is the only one who can actually hit him? Uh, in which case, uh, it doesn't matter because I still want to kill this guy first. But we'll get, we'll get walled on in a second here. You might be able to finish him off. Yes, you can, very nice. Now, if we can get an aura off, we uh, we should be uh, fine. I'm gonna leave you back here. Let's move you up so you can kill this guy. Um, yeah, if we can get a big aura off from uh, Amigo, she can heal everybody up completely, I think. You're actually gonna sit right there and just kill this guy. Make sure he's out of here. Level 17, and yeah, he's getting no he's got no stat points for the past two levels. We can get the aura. Um, good. So if you go like this, this should get everybody, I think. Cause uh, aura level three heals for about the same amount of damage as Demon Breath. And it has the same AoE pattern. So we can uh, erase all that damage, thankfully. Can't do that too many more times, though. All right, there's no reason for you to, to do anything just yet. Yeah, we're gonna take another one to the face by the looks of it. It's annoying, but it's okay. As long as we uh, keep getting turn order anyway. All right, um... I think it's time to maybe... So we can also heal people this way. Let's let's do the do it this way this time. 
Save an aura for later, maybe. We save a big aura for later. And then you can actually come right over here. And we'll do a big boost on these guys, maybe. Like this. Might have been better to do a heal with him, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Migo's only got one more of those big auras in her uh, her arsenal at the moment. Might be easier to just have you move back here. Uh, you can use a healing seed, but uh, we'll just have you move back and healing seed yourself. That should keep you alive for uh, one more turn. And then you... Who still needs to be healed? You, you, you. Really, it's just these two at this point. So if we just do something like... Not even that, but if we just do... Uh, actually, no, it would be better to move her away. If we just do an aura like this, we'll get most of the, the, the hit points. We'll get about half the HP from uh, that attack back. But it'll be enough to survive another one. Well, maybe, maybe not with her, but with uh, stock at least. But she's too far away, I think, so. Uh, let's see. You you know what, Lou? Just, <laughs> just hang out in the back in case someone tries some funny business. Okay, eight points of damage. He is boosted right now, so uh, do you need to be cautious of that? Ah, evil bishops, huh? All right, and let's see how we do now. There we go. That's the good stuff. Oh, I didn't read that. Spittest Dream of Venom. Right arm was poisoned. 5 XP. That doesn't seem very good. But I wonder if you've broken his barrier now? Let's try another blaze. Yeah, and all right. Now we can actually hit him with everybody. Very nice. Let's get to work, shall we? Doesn't really take very much damage from Blaze. It might be better just to get these mages out of here and have them stand uh, up top. Right. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna move you over to this side. I think. I think he's healing a little bit. By the looks of it. Which is, uh, I think, something maybe Dark Dragon did, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm going to move you up here, though, I think. I'm going to get Cray up here now. Let's see. I do... Well... No, I am going to put you here. Um, If I do this, I can get a big heal on him. I want Kray to be in a position to actually attack, because he uh, he's going to do a lot of damage. And we'll send uh, Domingo up this way as well. And um, here, I think just uh, hang back and uh, do a little heal on yourself. Hey, level 14, not bad. Ooh, hell level 3. We might uh, get a chance to see what that looks like. Okay, more demon breath. Ow. This might kill Yisha. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. Very nice. Alright, what's the plan here? I th think we, uh... want you, I think, come over and do a big heal on her. Right, now we definitely want you to come over here. Need to get all the damage on this guy we can. Because we can't just take Demon Breath to the face forever. Um, we can, however, solve a lot of our, our Demon Breath related problems by just doing one, and one more of these. I don't think we'll have to worry about doing another, and we do have the Healing Reigns if we really need them. We might even try one just to see what it looks like for fun. See if it looks like it does in Shining Force 1. 
All right. Just move you up a little bit. Ooh, baby. I think she's in trouble. Yeah, well, we tried. I don't know that she was actually boosted, so maybe she could have survived, but... It did seem like he was more interested in doing demon breaths, somewhat wisely. I wasn't expecting him to get another turn so soon, either. But it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now other than I try and surround him here. So there's his boost gone. Let me move you over like so. And yeah, we should get him in the next like round here, I think. Um, He's far enough away that I don't think we have to worry about it. So we'll just do a blaze here. It's not much damage, but every little bit helps here. Okay. Another big hit from Apis here. Very nice. And uh, you're out of shit. Well, I'll tell you what, let's use... Um... Oh, no, we don't have the thing. We've got a Protect Ring we could use. I think that's just a boost spell, though. So uh, I'm just going to put her over here. And there's another Demon Breath. Seems like he's getting faster, <laughs> almost. But he's definitely on the ropes. Ooh, Lou, careful. Uh, definitely gonna swipe at him with you. Oh no! And he got counterattacked as well. That's uh, rather unfortunate, if I uh, do say so myself. And I do. Okay, boost is gone there. And uh, I think if we just... I don't know if he can squeeze through there or not. But uh, I'm not going to take any chances. Or rather, I guess I should say, uh, I can't block him off in uh, <laughs> two places at once, so... Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Well, so be it. I was gonna... I thought he had maybe had one of the healing reins. I was gonna use one. What about you? you? You got one? She got one. Let's use one and see what it looks like. It looks like nothing. Which I don't think is what it looked like in the, in the original game. I think the original game had a graphic effect of some kind. But it could be wrong. But uh, as you can see, it is an AoE uh, full heal for uh, the entire group. At least I believe it's a full heal. We don't have anybody damaged enough, I don't think, to confirm uh, one way or the other. And it does give her XP too, which is nice. But, uh... But yeah, it's a pretty powerful uh, item. Okay, he's gonna heal himself, that's fine. We're just trying to keep him away from Waldol. Because it's a lot easier to uh, kill that guy than it is to kill Waldall. May as well get an attack in here with Lug now. Pretty good hit. And, uh... Have we even tried to sleep on anybody? Here we go. Ha uh, have a sleep. Unaffected by the magic, unsurprisingly. And it looks like Apis is going to do the honors here. Slam! Critical hit! 29 damage. Waldol is defeated. <laughs> Ow, indeed. And that's it. Did we win? That's what I'm asking. Yes, Apis, we won. We have the sword and Waldol is gone. Wow, he turned into a giant scorpion. Roos, don't worry, at least Lug is safe. Father, I'm so glad to see you. My friends and I couldn't let you disappear. We joined forces to come after you. Roos, we had heard the brave warriors were on the way, but I had no idea my own son would be among them. Uh-oh, he's not feeling so hot. You got poisoned. What's wrong with you? 
Nick, your right arm is turned to stone. Uh oh, that seems bad. You fought bravely and well for one so young, but this was just the beginning of a much larger invasion. Nick, to heal your arm, you will face you will have to face me <laughs> another time. Well, if that isn't a cliffhanger for a sequel, I don't know what is. Thus, Nick and the Shining Force restored peace to Cyprus and Guardiana. Hey, Henri's back, and she's uh feeling better by the looks of it. Thank you all. Guardiana is grateful for your bravery. And Nick has sacrificed his right arm for victory. Your Majesty, Cyprus plans to send soldiers into the depths of the continent. Then I will send Guardiana's best warriors to help them. It would be an honor to go, Your Majesty. We can help King Nick restore his arm. We owe him at least that much. To Cyprus. All right, so I guess the Shining Force is moving out once again. With the alliance of Guardiana and Cyprus, they succeeded in waking Queen Anri. With her waking, peace was once again restored to Guardiana and Cyprus. But as long as the right arm of the prince remains as stone, no one can escape from the shadow of the evil Eon Empire. The another story of Shining Forest, huh? Now you tell me after the entire playthrough, you tell me it's pronounced as Eom? <laughs> oh boy. Well, swung and missed on, uh, on the pronunciation of that one. And I guess Henri, Henri, eh, whatever. But, uh, there we go. Shining Forest CD. Shining Forest Gaiden. Well, Shining Forest CD Book 1 sh slash Shining Forest Gaiden completed. That's the first leg of our journey with this uh, four-part series, four-part game. Uh, next up, I guess uh, we'll be starting with uh, Shining Force CD Book 2 and uh, a whole new force, I assume. So uh, stay tuned for that. This has been a lot of fun so far, and I'll see you next time.